Good day everyone. Welcome to DRRR. Sa video na ito, ipapaliwanag ko ang kahulugan ng vulnerability, ang uh, types of vulnerability, and reasons kung bakit vulnerable ang Pilipinas sa different natural disasters. So, ano ang vulnerability? Ito ay uh, katangian or uh, anong meron sa community, sa system, and sa assets. Kaya ito ay susceptible or likely to be harmed or likely to be influenced ng isang hazard. As indicated by UNISDR or the UNDRR, there are many aspects of vulnerability arising from various physical, social, economic, and environmental factors. Ang vulnerability ay kahinaan o mga kahinaan. Tandaan natin na with zero vulnerability or kapag walang vulnerability, even a super typhoon hitting a highly populated area does not translate into a disaster. There are reasons why certain sectors of society are more vulnerable to disasters than others. Under demographic factors, we have population density, yung age ng population, distribution of population. For socioeconomic factors, we have wealth, education, nature of society, and understanding of the area or the community. For community preparedness, we have building codes, the scientific monitoring, and early warning systems, communication networks, and emergency planning. They also deal with the after effects, insurance cover, emergency personnel, and aid requests. Kailangan po yan. Now, ano ano yung types or four main types of vulnerability. First, we have physical vulnerability, population density, remoteness of settlement, and housing, kung saan nakatira ang mga tao. First example dito, yung wooden homes less likely to collapse in an earthquake pero vulnerable naman sila sa apoy. Second example, house built with light materials may not be a problem during an earthquake pero pwede silang madamage or maging totally damaged by a super typhoon. Second is social vulnerability. Ito yung inability of people, organizations, and societies to withstand the adverse impacts to hazards. Halimbawa, when flooding occurs, some citizens such as the children, the elderly, and the persons with disability may be unable to protect themselves or evacuate if necessary. Third is economic vulnerability. Yung level of vulnerability Highly dependent po yan sa economic status of individuals, communities, at maging ang uh, isang bansa. Yung mga may hirap, naninirahan yung iba na lang sa squatter settlements kasi they cannot afford to live in safer or uh, more expensive na lugar o na housing. Kaya kailangan nito ng government intervention. Lastly, ang environmental vulnerability. So we have natural resource depletion, nauubos na po yung mga likas na yaman, and resource degradation, nawawasak, nasisira. Halimbawa, yung mga wetlands, katulad ng nasa Agusan Marsh, sensitive yan sa increasing salinity from seawater, tsaka pollution. Pollution kasi merong agricultural chemicals and may kasamang eroded soils. Ito naman yung uh, Philippine vulnerabilities to natural disasters. The Philippines lies in the typhoon belt. Kaya ang average ay 20 na bagyo kada taon ang pumapasok sa Philippine area of responsibility. Ang nature ng ating landscape, yan po ay vulnerable sa landslide, sa mud flows, etc. Also, pulo-pulo kasi ang ating uh, mga isla. 
maraming small islands. Many of our areas are also or at a sea level, kaya vulnerable po yan sa flooding and inundation. One of the longest coastlines in the world nasa Pilipinas po. Vulnerable po yan sa storm surge. Also, tayo kasi ay agricultural and fishing economy. Apektado pati ang livelihood. Merong poor institutional and societal capacity para ma-manage, mag-respond at ultimately yung pag-recover mismo sa hazards. High risk po tayo in terms of countries' ability to manage and mitigate doon sa mga impacts because of corruption and high level of poverty according po yan sa Rappler. Lastly po, at risk po tayo sa volcanic eruptions. Marami kasing active volcanoes. At risk po tayo sa earthquakes because of several fault lines and baha. And reason sa pagbaha, itong denuded mountains. As shown here. Yan po yung mga reasons kung bakit vulnerable po tayo sa natural disaster ang ating bansa.